I researched one month for this video. I went to America's best tech event and I watched all the videos that needs to be watched to make this video. And these are my top tech trends of 2024. Humanoid robot, especially Tesla's Optimus, GPT-5 which is coming end of the year but even before that all the applications with GPT and LLMs on edge. That was my conclusion from CES. AR and VR, we cannot forget that Apple Vision Pro is coming tomorrow. All the initial reviews are not that exciting but I still think that this is very 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 big movement for AR and VR space. And some of the crazy things I saw at CES as well. I'll talk about that at the end you should definitely check out some cool things I found in CES 2024. Something that is not tech but gaining lots of attention especially amongst tech bros is longevity. Brian Johnson's movement of longevity. He did 0 to 20 million dollar in ARR in one day which is crazy but considering millions of views on his YouTube video that was not that surprising but we'll talk about that in detail. Let's start from robotics. Boston Dynamics was doing some interesting work since last 15 years but Tesla is gonna move very very fast. Optimus Gen 2 looks super nice. It can pick eggs, put them back in the tray, do things that humans can do now. It can walk and I'm just thinking what Gen 3, Gen 4 will look like. Economy is made up of workers and if we have a robotic worker who is as good as human, I don't know the implications of that on economy. But this year is going to be the year where we start talking about more implications of robotics on economy and we might start discussing about UBI CESP as well. GPT-5. GPT-5 is gonna come at the end of the year. GPT-5 will be better at multimodality as well as reasoning. Reasoning is very important. Reasoning basically means that it will explain why it is doing what it is doing. And once you can see all the steps that it used to derive some conclusion, you can verify that conclusion. You can see if the reasoning steps are correct or not. Second thing is multimodality. Whenever I go to any new restaurants nowadays, I take a photo of menu, send it to ChatGPT, describe my test, describe the things that I like, and it will recommend me plate based on that. And I have never been disappointed till now. GPT-4 is already being installed everywhere, like home appliances. Lots of people are making apps based on that, which is just crazy for me. I met one founder who is working on conversational model for cars. So once you are inside your car, you can talk with it like as if you are talking with ChatGPT, and it will do all this stuff. Talking about conversational AI, let's ask Siri some question. Hey Siri, uh, what's the weight of uh, my book that is in right in front of me? I'm not sure I understand. Yeah. All right. Uh, can you predict what's weather in California on 22nd of March? Sorry, I don't know where that is. You don't know where California is? I found this on the web. So you can see, like, Siri is not good. And Apple is going to make it better this year. If they don't, <laughs> LLMs on edge. That was my takeaway from CES. I saw all the applications of computer vision on edge last year and this year. Now I'm predicting next year at CES, there'll be lots of companies offering LLMs on edge. Edge means running the computing directly on the device. So let's say if I have LLMs running, it should run directly on this device. It should not call cloud. That's it. Whenever you ask ChatGPT something, it goes to OpenAI service, gets the answer and gives it back to you. But if I have LLMs running on this device, only the information is secured right here on the device. And now let's talk about the most interesting part. Rabbit R1, Human AI Pin and Tab. All these products are going to be LLMs on edge. Probably not. Some of them can be connected with internet as well. But there will be that hardware, specific hardware for LLMs. Could we have imagined this even last year? No. So the point of this video, maybe all the things that we are predicting right now, only half of them might come true. Other half, we will see it maybe two, three years later. And other things that we will see, we cannot predict it right now. That's the nature of predictions. But I am not sure if Rabbit R1 or Tab or Human AI Pin will be that compelling product. 
because most of them are trying to just replace my phone and they are not saying it in that way they are trying to make it something other than what it is uh, which is going to be interesting either way i am very grateful and thankful that somebody is building that because we should build more things even if it doesn't work out it's fine okay let's move to ar and vr Apple Vision Pro is coming out tomorrow. It's first of February today. It's coming out tomorrow. Meta might probably release another headset during the year as well. AR, the glasses I have by Meta may receive some kind of AR in upcoming future. Probably nothing this year. But once we have all the AR and VR technology, I'm thinking how LLMs would impact that. Pulling graphical info on fly with generative AI is going to be exciting in AR VR. One thing is for sure, we'll be more immersed in virtual world one of the interesting vr product that caught my eyes this year at ces was nemo planet the product is small computer which you can use with any ar glasses you can get your work done on the fly something like apple vision pro but for your ar glasses which is exciting i did try them on and if i have to make a quick presentation in 20 minutes i would definitely wear it and make it if you want to check more about the company i will leave some links down below i saw some crazy products at ces i saw one product i don't know how to describe that product properly but um, you can be in sync with your long distance significant other yeah i will live up to your imagination and i live this website you can check more about them okay let's talk about the last trend of 2024 that i think is going to be big longevity and uh, when we talk about longevity now we need to talk about brian johnson Brian Johnson has made longevity mainstream in tech bros. He did 0 to 20 million in ARR in one day. Definitely this is a sign that people want it and I am seeing lots of complimentary products in San Francisco doing crazy numbers by just providing blueprint mills or blueprint services. What is blueprint? Blueprint advocates some kind of diet, supplements, specific type of exercises and very strict life routine. When you first glance at the routine, you feel like this is not going to be very popular, but I'm seeing people around me that are interested in it, they are exploring it and they are incorporating blueprint in some small way in their life, which is very interesting. 2024 might be the year where we can see where more and more people start doing some simple basic things to increase their life. I definitely want to do it for one month just to see what change it would bring to my lifestyle. Yeah, that is about it, my friends. If you are looking forward to any specific tech trend let me know i am always looking for trends because 90% of trends are fat but 10% which you can catch early are going to help you make millions or is this cool to know some trends before the market even if it's not about making money all right check out more videos in the channel i'm going to be uploading lots of videos about tech ai and my life see you in another video